Hey, what? Hey, Bunny, guess what? What? No, you have, you have to actually guess. Uh, Fast Cars is a good song. Bunny. Now, I'm not going to just tear your head off here, okay? Because you're a friend. You're a friend to me, and I value our friendship. But, look, you should just know that my grandparents, they were killed by the song Fast Car. <laughs> oh, so I am fact, sorry. The fact that you have the nerve, the gall, the unmitigated chutzpah to just bring the song Fast Car now? Now? You told well, me to guess. Well, Bunny, let's just say that if you were anyone else, then you and I, we would be exchanging fisticuffs right now. <laughs> That's right. I said fisticuffs. <laughs> but it's you and you are my friend, Bunny. So because of our friendship, pause for dramatic effects in parentheses. Yes. I'm going to let this slide. But just this once, okay? Just this one time. I'm yes. going to give you a pass. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I will try to be more thoughtful in the okay. future. Okay. Just please, please don't bring up the song Fast Car again. Okay. Please. For our friendship, Bunny. Okay. But it was a good song. Let, let me, okay. Let me explain to you what our friendship is. Okay. Yeah. It's a two way street. It's a two way yeah. street with horns, with car horns. And with uh, 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 steam and with traffic and stop signs and walk signs that beep really loudly for blind people and manhole covers. And you know what's in those manhole covers? The Ninja Man. Turtles. They live in the sewers. Yeah. And they're all named after famous artists. Leonardo, Donatello, Dolly, Thomas Kincaid, Pollock, all of them. <laughs> and, 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 and Bunny, I'm the crosswalk, okay? And I'm just painted on... And I, I'm white, and I make sure that everything runs smoothly and everyone is safe. And right now, Bunny, you you are the gum on the pavement that gets on your shoe, and then you get really upset because now your shoe is sticking to the street. So what you do is you, you start scraping your shoe on the on the sidewalk, on the yeah. side of, of the street, and you're, you're struggling to get it off, and you're so distracted the by the gum on your shoe. You're so distracted by the gum. And the curb that you don't even notice the 1998 Ford Windstar that is coming straight at you going 57 miles per hour. And bam, now you are missing three toes. <laughs> is this what you want, buddy? Is this what you want to just limp everywhere? <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's homework time yes. once again. On the Pope on Film podcast, I haven't even gotten to the intro, bitch. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. <clears throat> People of the internet, your attention, please. Cease your cat videos and your tumbling on Tumblr and kindly pay attention. Each week, the dreaded and vaguely sci-fi sounding Council of Emeralds descends from their silvery floating citadel in the sky and selects a homework assignment via the fiery ritual of carousel. <laughs> a homework assignment that has been painstakingly chosen with the expressed intent of bettering our listeners, nay, all humans everywhere. But not you, Steve Bannon. No. I said humans, not fat whatevers. Yeah, whatever. I, 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 am, I am clueless as to what he is. He's an anthropomorphic uh, sexual harassment seminar. <laughs> is what he is. He's, he's the sexual harassment goofus to a <laughs> gallon. He looks like patient zero. Yes. He looks like whatever disease is going to ravage America, he is the first one. 
to get it. <laughs> and this week, we are once again in the bizarre world of Christian propaganda. Yay! Yay! This Christian week, propaganda is some of the best propaganda. It is. It is. Yeah. And this week, we are watching the archaic 1980 question mark Christian video, Idol Busters. Yes. And I call it 1980 question mark because there is literally hardly any freaking information about this video on the internet. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. There's hardly anything at all on the internet about this. You would think that there would be a million reviews and and uh, looks at the when it was made and the company that made it, but there, there's nothing out there. Nothing out there at all. <laughs> for this freaking movie. So weird. Well, maybe it doesn't actually exist then, right? That, that is a possibility. That is a possibility. So, Bunny, now that you've seen this video, do you remember Carmen? No, not at all. No, no, because like in the in the eighties and nineties, Carmen and his creepy receding hairline of Jesus were like huge. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like remember I, this dude. I was a heathen, and even I it, at least knew of Carmen freaking existence. And, and, and the the host of this video, the host of this video in the beginning says, "Hey, Carmen, well, good, thank you for being on this." Show, um, now Carmen, that's your real name. Now I can't pronounce your last name. Fuck you, his name is the Ciarello. Yeah. Just because it's Ciarello. fucking Italian. Good God. Yeah. Yeah. You white privilege fuckhole. Yeah. Carmen was a big ass deal in 86, 88, 89. So this unnamed Christian company basically used Carmen to seemingly promote this bizarre compilation of anti-idolatry skits. Yes. <laughs> so this unnamed Christian... There are, there are not nearly enough anti-idolatry skits. Yeah. So it, yeah. good on them. Yeah. So, so this Christian company, this unnamed Christian company, we need to make a, we need to make a movie. Make it for young kids. Make it for the, for the young kids, the youth. Let's see. Well, who should we get to to host it? Well, what we need is a mulleted Chris Elliott wannabe in a members-only jacket. Can we get that? <laughs> they okay, got you? that. They damn well Perfect. got that. Perfect. You're you're exactly the mulleted Chris Elliott wannabe in a members-only jacket we were looking for. Now here's a bump of cocaine. <laughs> Here's uh, some random passages of the Bible, and uh, uh, here you go. Post this bo- uh, host this boring direct to VHS video about uh, and basically, if you were to to come up with the thesis of this video, Idol Busters, it's basically you're just not allowed to like anything or anyone that no. will make Jesus cry. Like like, uh, hey, do you like this? Great. Well, you better like Jesus more or else you're a sinner. (laughs) So Carmen's being interviewed about how uh, Michael Jackson is satanic because people are making Michael Jackson an idol and idolatry is satanic. So Michael Jackson is satanic. Yes. First off. okay. so there's a lot there. First off, Carmen, you look like Danny Zuko in a community theater version of Greece. (laughs) That's first off. Secondly, I have a long-standing history of hating Michael Jackson, but if fucking Carmen thinks that Michael Jackson is satanic, then I love Michael Jackson, basically. Yes. If Carmen thinks Michael Jackson is satanic, then all I have to say is, And I'm higher, I'm higher. And like, <laughs> I That's as much Michael Jackson as I think I can legally do on yeah. this show. Because he's so still majority, got people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to mess with his people. Yeah. So the majority of this video plays out like, uh, like, like half. Like, hey, it's born again Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yes. 
And then the other half is like an extremely religious episode of Growing Pains. Uh huh. And then the host, sometimes he's like a, a low rent mulleted Chris Elliott, and sometimes it's like, wow. Uh, it's like a che- Sometimes he looks like a cheap Joel from Mystery Science Theater. I was getting a Bill Mooney vibe off of him a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, who is this for? <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, who the hell is this video for? Yeah. There's no teen that's going to be like, oh, sweet, let's go to my place and watch Idol Busters. <laughs> and if there are any, we don't want to know them. Yeah. We don't want to hang out with them. We don't want to pal around. Then there's a really offensive Mexican stereotype that pisses me Oh, good me. lord! <laughs> yes! Like, that really pissed me off. Yeah. Bandanas wrapped around their heads and everything. Yeah. Yeah. The basic premise of this video... Oh, and I mentioned that they got the host and they gave him, like, a bump of cocaine, because literally... It's like the guy's like, no, we're going to be talking about idolatry, and idolatry is very difficult, and it can take on a lot of forms. I'm like remembering Matthew uh, Matthew 8.12, where he said, come onto the field, and I shall embrace thee. But also, let's also not forget that idolatry can also take many forms. Like, you know, a lot of people like skiing. Like, I like skiing. I used to like skiing so much, I thought I could be a professional skier. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, Jesus, give him a downer, you know? <laughs> Like, he brought him up, now you need to get him down. That's right. Jesus Christ. The basic premises, the basic premises, premises of the video is that nothing can come before Jesus. Okay, I got you there. Nothing can come before Jesus. Jesus comes first. Yeah, but yes, always. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha can give you some lessons how. <laughs> right. Good. We're just talking about how nothing can come before Jesus because Jesus comes first. Is your name Jesus? I wish. <laughs> I, I was reading an article about how a winter storm is about how a winter storm is pounding the East Coast, and I'm like, honey, I got a great idea. How about you dress up like the East Coast? <laughs> and then I'll dress all in white and I'll come in like. <laughs> and then I'll pound you. <laughs> she was not excited about the idea. No. No. Oh. I also wave my hands around like that. That's the wind. <laughs> that's the storm. Like I, I'm really going all out with my impression. Of the uh, winter storm. Not many people can do a convincing wind. Yeah. Especially somebody who has got the Latino heat. Yeah. Latino heat! <laughs> but the motherfuckers in this video take it way too far. Like, oh, hi. My name's Billy. And I like sports. You like sports? Oh, no. You like sports more than Jesus. You're an idolater and you're going to hell. Oh, hey, I really like my new car. Oh, no, you like the new car more than Jesus. You're going to hell. (laughs) If you want to be a good Christian, like nothing. Yes. That's why we all love Carmen. (laughs) Because he's a musician that we cannot care about because he's horrible. Yes. Very horrible. Like, fuck I, all that. Like, what is. I mean, so maybe I blocked him out. Yeah, there's. there's maybe. That's a, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Like, what is God's problem, though? <laughs> that he's so self conscious that he won't allow his followers to basically like anything else. It's like if Michael Jackson said to his fans, you, you can only listen to my music. <laughs> Don't listen to any other music. No other music but mine. Or also, can sleep in my bed. Idolatry and you'll go to hell. Yeah. 
It, the, the weird thing about this video is that it feels vaguely like a failed pilot. Yes. That they padded into a made for VHS movie, which is odd because what station would they have made this Christian sitcom pilot for TBN? Possibly. And also the thing that pisses me off is that this video, the only way to truly date this video is because the video is called Idol Busters and the illustration on the cover features Carmen dressed as a ghost buster. Yes. But he's not a ghost buster. He's an idol buster. But there's no fucking ghost busters references in this goddamn video at well, all. Because that would be sinful. Can't I'm actually just... reference the ghost busters. Yeah. That would mean you saw it. Oh my god. My favorite part of this my favorite part of this video is near the end where they're interviewing rando white people at some Midwestern pool parlor somewhere. And like 75% of them that they're interviewing are talking about how much they love James Hetfield. Yes. <laughs> and it even said James who? Yeah. yeah. Fucking James Hetfield. You know, you know what? Don't, don't be so proud about being that out of touch. Yeah. Y you know what Carmen is? I finally, I think I finally pinpointed Carmen. Uh, he's Anthony Scaramucci, basically. The, ooh, that's, that's actually really good. But no, he's, he's a Chia Christian. <laughs> like, in order to grow a Carmen, you just put the seeds on his head and water him. <laughs> and then eventually a Carmen grows. Yes. <laughs> Fucking James Hetfield. So anyway, that's it for homework this week. Oh, that I love was kind of kind of a short one. Yeah. Well, well, I spent a ridiculously long amount of time talking about my dead mother-in-law and uh, uh, rubber fists. Yes. So everything else is a little bit short, but um. Speaking of short, next week, we're spending a large amount of time talking about a very short video. Okay. But we're not there yet. That is it for homework this week, and we seriously and legitimately so seer legit reus That was hard. We honestly hope that your hearts, minds, and latent homosexual tendencies have all been suitably open. Ah. Uh, but don't think you're getting out of here that easily, bucko. Don't forget next week's homework assignment. And for next week, we're going to an odd-ass place. Okay. And this is the Pope on Film podcast, so for us that says a lot. We will be watching a short four-minute video. But oh my god, there is so much here. Okay. <laughs> I already sent it to you. On March 1st, 2011... The cast of the what will no doubt be successful Broadway musical Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark made their TV debut on The Late Show with David Letterman. Uh, what? Jesus fucking Christ. I had no idea that play was this bad. I had seen bad reviews of the Broadway musical Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, but I had no I had no idea how bad it was. This that is sounds like, that sounds like something Mary Jane would have said. This is so bad. It's like the movie Batman and Robin was turned into a musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> in 1984. It's a big fucking mess. So much worse. And, and, and this song that they do on David Letterman is like the end of act one number. And also let's remember all of the music for this musical were, was written by Bono and the edge. Really? Yeah. They wrote all of the music for this musical. 
So you can imagine that that uh, Broadway is like, oh, this this can't fail. This is going to be a win win. We're going to be raking in the money. We're going to be drowning in pussy. <laughs> but however bad you think this video is of a, of a musical number from Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, yeah, it is worse than that. There is no way to prepare you for this musical number. Really? Oh, my, oh my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. So we're watching a four-minute video, but Jesus Christ, there is so much to unpack. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. Like, like pretty much this musical almost destroyed Hollywood. It almost destroyed Broadway. Really? Nice. Yeah. It was so bad. And it cost so much money. Yeah. Oh, he, he, there, there's no preparing for it. It's on YouTube. I sent you the link already. <laughs> when I saw it for the first time, I immediately said, I have to show this to Bonnie. And then it wasn't until uh, like the, this morning that I decided to turn it into homework. <laughs> so that is the homework for next week. Oh, my fucking God. There's no way to prepare you for this. But uh, I really need you to watch it as soon as possible and tell me what you think, because this is bad. Really, okay. really bad. <laughs> so horrible. But that is next week. Next week, they made a Spider-Man musical, and it's... it's oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The song is sung by the Green Goblin. <laughs> And then that's just sounding better and better. And then Craven's in it, and then Carnage, and uh, oh, and then it's not just the Green Goblin, but the Green Goblin has like an army of followers, like the Joker always does. Oh, it's it's so bad. It's so bad. But that's next week. That's but, next but week. Think about how bold a move that would have been at that time. You know, uh -huh. nobody cared about superheroes, super anything superhero was awful. Yeah. Like the uh, Spider-Man TV show. I don't know. Uh, it's 2011. So uh, I'm pretty sure that yeah. back then we, we had uh, the greatest superhero of all time, Mr. Tobey Maguire. Yes. <laughs> Pizza time. <laughs> Love that. Love that man. He got my name wrong. I'm the human spider. <laughs> God, I love that stupid movie. I love all of those stupid movies. Except number three. Number three is just bad. Yeah, I, I, I saw that once. Didn't <clears throat> care and... Yeah. But that's next week. There's a lot to unpack next week. You have to watch this video. Okay. Everyone needs to watch this video. You all, everyone needs to be punished <laughs> by watching this video. So that is next week. Join us next week for the weirdest homework that we'll ever do. That is next week. <laughs> okay. And cut. <laughs>